economic value of good reproduction continues to be very important in a dairy's profitability. In DairyCom 305, bread sum is used to determine the effectiveness of a reproduction program. In this video, I will be discussing preg risk, which is part of bread sum. The calculation for preg risk is simply the number of pregnancies over the number of eligible cycles. Each 21-day cycle, cows need to be determined whether or not they are eligible. The definition of eligibility is they need to be past the voluntary waiting period for at least half of the 21-day interval for cows, 50 days in milk, heifers, 365 days. They have to have a known open at the start of the period, a known outcome at the end date of the period, open or pregnant, present and eligible for at least half of the 21-day period, not a do not breed for greater than half of the period, and not in a bolt pen for greater than half of the period. Each cow's eligibility is established for each 21-day period. Hypothetically, each 21-day calendar period could have an entirely different cows. Each 21-day period is its own isolated snapshot in time. Once in dairy comp, to get to the 21-day preg risk, type the word bread sum at the command line and press enter. Then you will pick the 21-day preg risk. Once it's calculated, you'll see at the top that it shows that it used a voluntary waiting period of 50 days, which is default. Along the left-hand side, you will see the date for each of the 21-day periods for the last year. Next to them, you will see the number of animals that are eligible to be inseminated. Then you'll have the number of animals that were actually inseminated, and then the percent. The most recent 42 days we will never use in the overall total. The reason for that is because of missed heats on inseminated cows that have not fully been accounted for. Next to our bred eligible, we have our preg eligible. It will show you the number of animals that were eligible to be pregnant, the number of animals that were actually pregnant, and then the percentage. Again, Preg risk is not calculated for the most recent 42 days because of many unknown outcomes. These animals have not been bred long enough to have preg checks yet. Next to our preg risks, you will also see the aborts. And this column represents the known loss of pregnancies for conceptions in the specific period. If you want to see which animals are included in each one of the 21 day periods, you can simply click on the date and it will take you to a list of all the animals that were included in that 21 day period. It will tell you their days, the date, the codes, open, pregnant, abort. It will tell you the conception, if they left the herd, and also a voluntary waiting period. You can also make changes easily by clicking on the Options button in the upper right corner. The Options box allows you to change the voluntary waiting period, the start and end date, the lactation groups you want to look at, and also allows you to look at bull breedings. With bread sum, you can also use a for statement. So if there's a specific pen that you want to look at, for instance, it may be a bull pen, you can change it to bull pens only and use the for statement of bread sum for pen equal to whatever your bullpen is. Click OK and it will be recalculated. By default, Dairy Comp looks at cows. If you'd like to look at your 21 day preg risk for your heifers, simply type your bread sum at the command line and then we're going to put a backslash E so it goes directly into the 21 day preg risk and put a Y for young stock. Now you will be looking at your young stock 21 day preg risk. Across the top, you'll see the voluntary waiting period is 365 days. That is the default for heifers. It can also be set up um, using what we call an AI date. And basically what that is, is the date that you move them into an AI pen is what it will use versus the actual age. One other thing that can be helpful to understand how bread sum works and when animals are eligible and why is you can actually do a bread sum for an in individual animal. I think we get a bread sum for just that animal showing all the 21 day cycles that she actually was eligible to be bred, 
eligible to be pregnant and then you'll see at the bottom where she actually is pregnant now. So that sometimes it will help you kind of understand how the bread sum works is by doing individual cows. So when looking at your 21 day preg risk, you'll see that this dairy actually has a 23% preg risk. It used to be that we would say that 20 was like you were doing a really great job. But with the research and the improvements in reproductive programs, we're actually seeing preg risks now that are in the upper 20s and even some 30s. In summary, BreadSub is a powerful reproduction analysis tool. Next month, I will be taking a look at using BreadSub to analyze conception as well.